Hi guys, this is to prove that Tai Chi instructors do have balls. Earl once told me that uh, he used to suspend tennis balls all around his house and use them for, for training tools. So we're just going to have a muck about with using a tennis ball and also ping pong balls suspended to uh, just have a bit of, bit of fun. We, we should always remember this should always be about having a bit of fun. Now what you want to do is uh, have a tennis ball that you can suspend from a, uh, the ceiling that will bounce up and hit, hit a rafter or, or a, a board just so you can get a, a, a good uh, rebound off it. Uh, and then what you can also do is play around with suspending some, um, some ping pong balls just off uh, any line and you can have multiple balls so that you can actually have different targets to attack. Now you're not going to always hit them and we're going to make mistakes and, and stuff like that but this is all about just getting some reflexes going and, and just having some uh, enjoyment with your training. Okay, let's just have some ideas what we're trying to achieve. We're just going to hit, hit the ball. It's going to bounce off here and hopefully not hit you on the, on the rebound. So you've got to be able to move forward with your strike. So what you're doing, you're just starting with your hands down and, and you're going to hit it. Just, and occasionally it's going to go the wrong way. So just keep your eye on the ball, so to speak. Well, actually, better yet, don't keep your eye on the ball. A lot of times you should try and have more uh, a peripheral vision, so more uh, uh, a wider, as Earl used to call it, an eagle vision. So all you've got to do is just relax, have a go. If it hits you, it's not going to hurt that much, so, so don't worry too much about it. Now have some fun, try um, sorry, ping pong balls just for a bit of a lighter target also you can hang more of them easier and um, have a go at um, combinations and, and so on as I said, this is just a bit of mucking about this is all, all good fun and games so we can, we can do back fist and a, and a punch and everything will go a bit crazy but it still gives us the idea that we, we don't just go in with one one strike. So trying to be able to get two things going at once. Uh, back fist and a punch. All right, have a bit of fun with that. You can also um, hit the ball at any angle you want. So if you want to throw in a back fist from the side, try and get out of the peripheral vision or a strike to the side as I said look this is this is just for you to have a play so anything goes no rules no no nothing just all good fun playing with balls okay guys just to finish up all you need something as cheap as a ping pong ball some twine sticky tape to hold it on and you've got your, your training partner. Uh, we've mucked about with like the tennis ball really is a, a good idea. You can, you can buy them at most sports stores. They're uh, pre-done. If not, just get yourself a tennis ball and put a hole through it and put some twine through it. It's not going to cost you a fortune. Other things we've mucked about with is uh, badminton shuttlecocks because they just sort of float a bit more so you can get into a bit more of a rhythm as if you're doing a small sand sow. Um, all these things, as I said, good fun. We should learn by playing. We should do the Tai Chi as if we're playing. Um, sometimes I think we take it all a bit too seriously and we don't want to make mistakes and, and we, we tense up for the wrong reasons. So in the end, have fun. Remember, Tai Chi instructors do have balls. 
and we do play with them.